Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, and happy Mother's Day to all the beautiful mothers out there, especially to my mother, my grandmother, my aunts, my cousins, my nieces, um, my uh, my friends. Who else have babies? To all those who have babies, happy Mother's Day. Today is Book Seven in the Old in the New Testament of my sixty-six day challenge, and we are on First Corinthians. The author is uh, Apostle Paul. It was written in five, uh, 55 AD. Remember, the New Testament has 27 books and the Old Testament has 39. The claim to fame c contains the famous stories about love, which include at nearly every Christian wedding. It is in 1 Corinthians 13. The famous verses is 1 Corinthians 13 and 4. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. 1 Corinthians 10 and 31. Some of... Uh, the issues that are addressed in 1 Corinthians is Paul heard that there was quarreling in the churches and he was disappointed. He spent 18 months with the Corinthians Christians and they have been doing well and he wanted to help them solve their problems. If you break 1 Corinthians down, now this wasn't the first letter that Paul sent to the church, but the church had a lot of problems and needed a, a answers. So they have a lot of questions about everything. So 1 Corinthians can be broken down in two parts. The first part is between chapters 1 through 6. And that is about problems and solutions. The second part of 1 Corinthians can, is between chapter 7 and 15. And those are the answers and questions that Paul gives. Um, to break down chapters 1 through 4, Paul talks about the quarreling that he heard about the church and offer advice. Chapters 5 through 11, Paul exposes sin and he hears, and he hears it already feasting in a church. Uh, chapters 12 and 15, he helps them to understand the different doctrines, which means speaking in a tongue. Chapters 15 to 16, he preaches the pure gospel again to encourage those believers to hold fast of what is good. Questions like is, who do we follow who? Answers, he says, we're going to follow God. Um, he gives you counseling over marriage and decisions, but that's in the second part. The first part was the um, four, five questions that um, they really asked was, who follows who? Uh, they wanted to understand the difference between when people say you are spiritual babies, meaning um, uh, when someone says you're a spiritual baby, that means you're being fed milk right now. And then pretty soon you can get soft solids. Then you can get the hard stuff. So he's saying come to Christ like a baby. Don't uh, boast or brag or feel like you're going slow. It, it takes a long time to get to where we are now. Um, those uh, answers could be found in 1 Corinthians 2nd second, uh, second chapter of verse 14. Um, they humbled themselves by not boasting or having pride. They said to be more like Paul or Peter. That's letting you know that, again, we was once there, but now we're here. No, you can't have solid food the way we do, but I assure you the milk that we're giving you is good for you. Another question is there was sexual sin in the church and that's usually where um, during uh, 1 Corinthians that's where all the sexual sin was being um, happening in the church and his response to it was kick everybody out period anybody who's not doing right within the church kick them out period also be, to be more like Peter and Paul I apologize go to 1 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 14 to find your answers to what I'm saying Fourth question is talk taking believers to court. Uh, his answer was from 1 Corinthians 6 and 6. What he's saying is, why take your brother to court when you guys can uh, agree to this amongst each other? You guys have to find the love. You guys have to communicate. Continue to read so that you can dive into more if you want to find the answers. It's in uh, chapter 6, verse 6. Now the second half or the second part uh, 1 Corinthians is the answers and questions, which can be found in uh, chapter 7, verse 17, about uh, division, about marriage, about sex, and all the different things that people had questions between offering to idols, which in, is in chapter 10 and 13, meaning a lot of Christians or a lot of those who believe would offer um, food sacrifices to idols and then sell it and then people will feel convicted and he was just saying only do what is good um to what only doing what is good is to you and you can find the answers in first corinthians 10 and 13 and that is at a glance with first corinthians um 
it's a really good thing especially when you need a lot of answers and you feel like you have a lot of questions and they're not being answered it's just another way that letting you know that someone's also there to encourage you let you know that this thing it doesn't come easy it takes steps it takes time it takes nourishment just like with me i have i was talking the other night and i was like i don't believe that i'm praying enough i believe i'm talking too much i believe i when i'm talking to god i feel like i'm just continuing to talk to him and i said no i need to find another way to humble myself and and pray more instead of having a conversation with him i need to learn how to be still sometime and listen to him so with first corinthians seeing that they had a lot of questions and um Paul was there to help them and to give them courage. It also encouraged me. So if you guys need any answers, if you guys need any encouragement, I highly recommend today you read uh, 1 Corinthians and just let the Lord bless you the way he blessed me. Again, happy Mother's Day to all the beautiful mothers. And this is At A Glance with Brittany. Bye.